Stay tomorrow. Those um, Russian cosmonauts are coming in. Ah, have a good sleep, Master. I am going out. Going out? Where? I have a date. Captain Healy is going to pick me up in front of the public library. No, now wait a minute. We've been, we've been all through this before. You, you can't go out with Captain Healy. He's turning his wolf suit. <laughs> he wants to marry you. I know. Yeah, well he can't. Why not? I am single. Yeah, well, you've been single for two thousand years. Well, that is just it. I do not wish to be an old maid. Uh, well, Jeannie, I, I, I can't let you do this to my best friend. Uh, I, he's only read Omark, I am. You used to sit in his tent and drink wine with him. Well, I would not be going out with your best friend if I was married to his best friend. Yes. Ginny, we've been through that, too. Oh, there would be many advantages to being married to me, Master. For instance... Huh? Hey. <laughs> what? What? what are you trying to prove? Yes. <laughs> well, this is the biggest advantage of all. When you are old, I will still look like this, and you will not have to chase young girls. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, Jeannie, I'm aware of the fringe benefits, but I'm not ready to get married yet. Oh, very well. I have waited for 2,000 years. I suppose I can wait a while longer. Well, sure you can. In the meantime, you won't go out with Captain Healy, right? If it will make you happy. And if you promise not to go out with other girls. Right. What do you mean, no other girls? I'm a bachelor. Of course Goodbye, I'll go out Matthew. with you. You got a deal. In that case. <laughs> Good night, Master. If I did marry her, how'd I ever get in that bottle? The general will be right with you. Thanks, Sergeant. You've got to help me find Jeannie. She vanished in the thin air again. Oh, I don't know what I can do, Raj. I see her once and she disappears. A woman just can't vanish into a puff of smoke. <laughs> with women, logic will get you nowhere. Well, I'm telling you, I, I, I got to find her. I'm going crazy. You, you see this? Look at that. Isn't that... Hey, that's a lot of carrots. I was going to put it on her finger last night. But what does she do? She stands me up in front of the public library. <laughs> I want my advice, I forget it. I don't want your advice. I want Jeannie. <laughs> Gentlemen, General. The Russian cosmonauts are with Dr. Bellows now. They'll join us in a moment. And the State Department has invited Major Spavznovsky and Tiomkin here as a gesture of goodwill. They'll be staying at my hotel for two days. You gentlemen will be their hosts and entertain them. Uh, what type of entertainment would you suggest, sir? Their stay will be brief. But we'd like them to leave impressed with the flavor and the majesty of our great country. So keep them away from the Watusi Festival and the strip joints. Good morning, gentlemen. Morning, sir. Colonel. Captain Nelson, Captain Healy. Major Tiomkin and Major Pavznovsky. How do you do? Privet. Privet. Thank you. Captain Healy and Captain Nelson will do everything to make your stay a pleasant one. Captain Healy, you'll be in charge of Major Pavznovsky. Captain Nelson, Major Tiomkin. My pleasure, Major. Mine, too. I think it's about time for our tour around the base, don't you think so, Dr. Bellows? The newspaper photographers are waiting outside. Right this way. Uh, the press has been swarming all the rest for an interview with you, Captain. Whatever happens to you. Captain, I am worried that first person Captain, I am worried that act person. From the moment I see you, I say, this cat is for me. <laughs> cat? Oh, 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 yes. Well, uh, Major Chumkin, I think. Sonia, big daddy. 